Today we're going to make a double exposure using the sellotape transfer method. So for this you're going to need some clear tape, two photographs printed out on black and white and also a tray of water. Let's get started. The first step you're going to decide which image you are going to have as your top image. So I think there's less black on this photograph so I'm going to use this as my top layer and I'm going to take some sellotape and I'm going to stick it diagonally across the image and then each piece of tape that I stick on I'm going to make sure it overlaps the previous piece of tape. And make sure it's covering all of the paper as well so don't leave any gaps so if you've not gone to the edge of the paper like here you're going to have to put another piece of tape to make sure it's completely covered because when we submerge it in the water any paper that is exposed will dissolve so I'll just put a new piece of tape over that part there So we're covering all of the paper with tape and overlapping each piece of tape over the first one. Once you've completely covered your image with tape, just check for any bits that you may have missed. So I've missed a small bit here and patched that area up. And once you've done that, you are then ready to cut out your image. So you're going to cut away all these spare bits of tape. Don't wrap them around the back or it won't work. Now that you've covered your image with tape and you've cut out the image so that it has no excess tape. You're ready to remove the back layer of paper from the photograph using water. So you're going to turn your photograph upside down and then submerge it in the water. You're then going to rub the back of the paper and it will remove the surface of the paper and it will leave the ink attached to the cell tape. So the ink will stick to the tape and the paper will come away from the tape. When your image is dry, you can then stick your sellotape image on top of your background image. 